Approximately 50 years ago, a piece of machinery the size of a basketball was launched into Earth's atmosphere, changing our world forever. It unlocked the gate into a new era of exploration and wonder. Russia became a superpower in the duration of the Second World War. It began competing with America for technological advances as well as the Olympics that were going on during that time. Russian scientists began developing a satellite which would be launched into the world's atmosphere, giving them the edge against the American counterparts. Sergei Korolev, leader of the Sputnik development team, went to the president at the time, Dmitry Ustinov, and proposed the idea of creating an Earth-orbiting satellite. On October 4, 1957, the Sputnik was launched into space, impacting the world forever. People around the world gathered around radios and TV sets to watch the historical event taking place. However, others chose to see the metallic sphere themselves. Citizens in Indiana were able to spot the Sputnik in the sky at midday. How did it impact the society? How did the Sputnik impact society? It had devastating effects on the West, uh, because the West, the people, the public in the West felt that the, the West was behind the Soviet you know, space program, and especially, especially in the U.S. Uh, and especially after the first couple of attempts by the Americans to launch satellites and that failed very spectacular because all the TV cameras were to record the launch but the rocket actually rose a little bit and then dropped and exploded so mm -hmm. uh, it had a devastating psychological effect on many people and the rest of the world besides the Soviet Union and uh, the US uh, there were discussions about whether this showed this Soviet uh, launch of Sputnik showed that the Soviet system was better than the American system because they succeeded in something that the Americans, at least f at first, did not seem to succeed. Uh, so there was concern then in the, Ameri uh, in the U.S. that uh, maybe the other countries would go with the Soviet system, which after all was the whole point of the Cold War was to see which system was better the socialist system of the Soviet Union or the capitalist system in the West, in the U.S. So there was that concern, but fairly quickly the U.S. Uh, caught up with the Soviet Union in launching satellites. And as a matter of fact, the first American satellites actually made more scientific discoveries than the Soviet satellites. And, uh, and of course, eventually the U.S. did land on the moon in 1969. The launch of the Sputnik kickstarted the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union and also caused a chain reaction throughout the world. The U.S. immediately began development in their own satellite. However, the Soviets were definitely more advanced in aerospace technology. Many countries began developing their own space programs. Joining the Soviet Union was the U.S., Japan, and others who helped support the superpowers program. In 1969, the United States launched the third rocket of the Apollo project. Not only did it include actual astronauts, but it was also the first craft to land on the moon. Nowadays, there are many programs and goals. Space centers and museums have sprung up all over the world, exhibiting many journeys to different planets and images and information from other galaxies and constellations. We now know more of our universe than ever before. Clearly, the Sputnik 1 was a revolutionary point in history. Due to the Sputnik, mankind was able to make many technological advances and jumpstart the exploration into space.